So in this last part of this series of BGP and OSPF routing, we'll look at the configurations and what we actually did here. Uh, we advertised the prefixes from VOS3 and VOS1 into OSPF so that our BGP or Border Gateway Router can learn them through OSPS. So VOS2 learned 100.111 through OSPF. And then he advertised, VOS2 advertised that prefix into BGP by redistribution. So we put OSPF into BGP. That's redistribution. That way, that prefix 100.111 got advertised through BGP and VOS4 learned it via BGP. So he had 100.111 in its routing table through BGP. We did the same. VOS3 advertised 200.333 through OSPF and the border gateway router VOS4 learned it through OSPF, put that route, OSPF route into BGP and VOS2 learned 200333 through BGP. Now that the border routers had each other's prefixes as BGP, we needed to get a way to have BIOS 1 and BIOS 2, 3 reach the border gateway without putting BGP into OSPF. That's typically not a good idea to put BGP into OSPF or IGP. So <clears throat> having said that, we, we, we did a default route originate in OSPF so that VOS1 gets a default route from VOS2. We did the same here, default route originate, and uh, VOS3 got a default route from VOS4, and now we have COD zeros in both the routers, three and one. So now the three and one can reach the border router for any networks and 100 and 200 is in the BGP routes learned by the border routers. What else do we need to do for VOS1 to reach VOS3? When you originate the ping from VOS3 or VOS1, so if VOS1 is where to ping, 233, the source address is going to be 10121. Same with VOS3. If you were to ping from VOS3 100111, the source address would be 10343. These networks are not put in to BGP. So BGP doesn't know about the routing table here, does not know about this network, 1034. The routing B table here does not know about the network 10121 or 10120. Therefore, if you originate the ping in VOS, pinging 200, but source it with 100111, it will work. Same with VOS3, if you ping 100 and source it with 200.333, it will work. Let's take a look at that and let's take a look at the configuration as well. We'll look at the border routers first, two and four. So let's take a look at router two and router four BGP, BGP and OSPF configurations. Two, and four, the routing tables is up here. We can see the BGP routes 
coming in. 100 is coming from here. 200 is coming from here. All the way like this, right? All the way like this. So we're good with the BGP routing. Let's go take a look at the configuration. Show configuration commands match protocols. And you can see both OSPF and BGP routing protocols configured. Show configuration commands match protocols. Here are the two com configurations side by side for VOS2 and VOS4 with OSPF and BGP. Let's go over them line by line. First three are BGP. This is the network. Before you advertise the network, you need to do, this is your first command here. Then you do OSPF redistribution. This was an optional thing, so you don't have to, but it's right here. So the neighbor command is always going to be your first one in BGP and then whatever routes you want to put in, either through redistribution or through network command, right? So you can do that either through network command or through redistribution. Both examples are shown here, network and redistribution. Network and redistribution, two ways to put routing information into BGP. This is a mandatory command, neighbor. Okay, now let's look at the OSPF part. OSPF network 1012, which is this segment right here. And then default information originate, which is the default route going towards the OSPF speakers. Same thing here. And that's up for the uh, configuration part for the borders. Now let's look at the configuration for one and three, which are the OSPF speakers. Three and one. Show configuration match protocol. You can actually look at the commands. Side by side, show configuration commands, match protocol. So essentially all we're doing is advertising two networks, the transit link and the ethernet here. The transit link, which is 10.1.2.0 and the stub network 100.11.0. Same case with here, advertising 10.3.4 and the stub network 200.3.3. And that's about it, ignore this part. I don't know where this came from, but uh, these are the two essential OSPF commands that we're using here. We already looked at the routing uh, tables, but let's take a look at them again. Show IP route. Show IP route. Show IP route. Show IP route. Here's the routing table comparison, straightforward. Let's try to reach from VOS1 to VOS3, ping 200, 333, not able to reach obviously because the uh, 10121 link is not advertised. So if you do traffic, monitor traffic interface, any filter, IECMP, You'll see that 10.1.2.1, which is this interface here, 
is not advertised in OSP, uh, BGP, so it's not earned all the way, so it doesn't know how to get back. This guy doesn't know how to get back the border router. 10.1.2 is not here anywhere. So, and we don't need to because if we were to ping with the source interface of our stub network, you'll see that now it can reach. It has the information for 10, 100, 111. Not the OSP speaker, but the border gateway router. It's right here. It did not have the information for 10, 1, 2 network. So you are good. You would uh, never redistribute BGP into SPF for that purpose, for each ability purpose, unless you want to create trouble for yourself. Um, Mutual redistribution typically leads to routing loops, especially if you have two or more uh, points of redistribution. You can use tags to prevent and filter, but that's a topic for advanced routing. But for now, I think having this setup work between two sites using BGP and OSPF demonstrate how you can reach the inside southbound routers and reach, achieve reachability between them using OSPF and BGP.